Hello everyone. Today in this math tutorials, we are going to discuss something about integers. Integers, as you know, is a very, very important topic related to maths. So let's discuss today some important things related to integers. But first of all, what is an integer? Integer is a whole number, can be positive or it can be negative. So that means zero starting with zero or before zero also we all whatever numbers whatever positive or negative numbers we get we call them as integers like two minus five two forty five zero nine minus one all are examples of integers now where we see these positive and negative integers in our daily life like Positive. First of all, let's see some positive integers examples. When the temperature is above zero, like we say six degrees Celsius or something like that, plus six. So we call it as positive integer. When you are above the ground, okay. when you earn money, so you get something plus in plus. So that is your positive integer. And when your team scores a goal, so that is also a case of positive integer negative when the temperature is below zero you must have heard that saying something like that uh, at this particular place is having temperature below zero in minus two degrees celsius something like that or when you are below the ground that is when you go in the lift and if you have to go to the basement and you are below the ground we call that example also as an example of negative integer when you spend money, again, you are losing and it will be a case of negative integer. So in all the cases, you see that we are talking about positive and negative integers. So now you can see the correct uh, form of integers here. So whenever we write integers, integers are from, we cannot count. Actually, we cannot count integers. So integer comes from negative infinity like minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0 is also and then 1, 2, 3. So integers are positive also, integers are negative also and 0 also. So 0 is neither positive nor negative. So this is a number line and you can see how we can represent the integer. So all positive integers, right side. All positive integers right side of the number line and all negative integers left side of the number line. And in the middle you can see zero is here. This is a number line in which you can represent a positive, negative and zero. Now how can you add integers with a number line? So when the number is positive, you have to count to the right side. And when the number is negative, you have to count towards the left side. Let's see one example here. Suppose you want to add 5 and minus 7. So what will you do here? First, you will go 5 steps right side. Okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you will move back 7 steps. 7 steps you will move back. And then when you reach the final position, that final position will give you the answer. So you can see five steps right side, then minus se then seven steps left side. We are coming at position minus two. So in this way, you can add the integers with the help of number line. The answer is coming minus two. Another example, you can see minus two plus six. So move two steps backward. And then from there, move six steps forward. So where we are reaching now, we have reached now at four. So six minus two plus six answer is four. In this way, you can add integers with the help of number line. Now integers have so many properties. That integers, there are uh, properties based on the operations like for addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So let's discuss the common properties of integers. 
the first is we have closure property then commutative property then associative then distributive identity and then inverse so let's discuss one by one what is this closure property closure means if you have two integers a and b then if you add both the integers you subtract both the integers or you multiply both the integers answer will always be an integer this is called closure property you can see the examples here you are adding 2 and 3 answer is coming 5 which is an integer you are subtracting 7 and 5 answer is 2 which is again an integer you are multiplying two negative integers answer is coming plus 10 so again it is an integer so integers are closed next property commutative commutative means when you change the order of two numbers like if you are taking the two integers as a and b so whether you add a with b or you add b with a always answer is same and this uh, integers are commutative in multiplication also whether you multiply a with b or you multiply b with a answer will be same so integers are commutative in multiplication also and in addition also next next property we have is associative property for associative we have to take three integers minimum so suppose you have three integers a b and c now in case of addition in case of addition if you are applying the associative property it will be like whether you add a with b and then you add c or you add b and c first then you add a answer will be same like in this example you can see 6 plus 2 is 8 and 8 plus 1 is 9 here also 6 And two plus one is three, so six plus three again it is nine. So integers are associative under addition. Now integers are associative in multiplication also. Whether you multiply a into b and then you multiply it with c, or you multiply b with c and then you multiply with a, answer will be same always. so integers are associative also now comes a very important property which we call it as distributive property yes in distributive property suppose you have three integers again a b and c let's take the case of addition first if you add b with c and then you multiply it with a whatever answer you will get that will be same as your a into b plus a into c so if you do the uh, multiplication and addition according to this one whatever answer you will get it will be same as according to the right side multiplication and addition you can see the example here minus 2 into 4 plus 3 this example is based on addition so whether you add 4 and 3 or you take whether you add 4 and 3 this is your minus 2 4 plus 3 is 7 so answer is coming minus answer is coming minus 14 here and if you take this right side you if you are taking 4 into minus 2 that is minus 8 and minus 2 into 3 minus 6 again we are getting answer as 14 you can see it here in both the cases our answer is same so distributive property in integers is that whether you multiply and then you add then also answer is same or you add and then multiply with the third integer then also it is same and same thing is applicable when we talk about the subtraction okay so integers are distributive under addition also and subtraction also now comes a very important property which is called identity property so 
वस्तु आइडेंटिटी प्रॉपर्टी मीन्स एडिटिव आइडेंटिटी एडिटिव आइडेंटिटी एडिटिव आइडेंटिटी मीन्स वॉट इंटीजर यू कैन एड टू एनी इंटीजर so that the answer will not change so we have only zero in this case so additive identity of any integer a is zero because a plus zero is a only so additive identity of any integer is zero so zero is the additive identity because when you add zero to anything the answer will remain same So see some examples. Three plus zero is three. Minus twelve plus zero is minus twelve. Let's take the next one. Inverse. Now inverse means additive inverse. What is additive inverse? Additive inverse. Additive inverse means you are adding a number to something to any integer so that the answer is coming zero so if you have any integer a what will you add to get the answer zero you can add only minus a to get the answer zero so additive inverse of any number a is your minus a so additive inverse of any integer a is minus a so you can see 10 additive inverse is minus 10 minus 6 additive inverse is Plus six. Okay. After the properties, now let's quickly see some integer rules. How can we add integers? How can we subtract? Okay. So we are just going to discuss today addition, uh, addition and subtraction rules. So first is when you add integers, positive and positive integer always give positive integer. Like plus three and plus two is Plus five, positive plus a positive is positive. Now negative plus negative is negative. For example, minus two plus minus three will give you minus five. So when you add two negative integers, answer is always a negative integer. So the property is the rule is negative plus a negative is negative and what what will happen when you have one negative and one positive sign so if you have one positive and one negative and you want to add them the answer will be in case of in this case answer will be the number which which is having the uh, the, the the larger integer we will use the sign of the larger integer and we have to subtract them for example if you have plus 7 and you have plus minus 2 so if you have one positive one negative you have to do the subtraction and then it is 5 now about the sign sign we will take it of the larger integer and larger integer here is 7 so it will be so in integers we have to be very very careful according to the signs we have to work otherwise the answers will not match so in this uh, video we have covered all the properties of integers plus some rules of adding integers okay but still integers is not over there are many things in integers so whatever we have done so keep revising all these things and keep practicing these integer rules thank you